What is going on guys? In this video, we are going to learn everything about state in Jetpack Compose. State is the very important concept when you are developing the application. It describes how our UI looks at the moment. In the real world application, the content changes in the UI. It won't be static. So we should learn how we can handle those UI state in the Android application. We have remember, remember saveable, view model, live data. We will learn everything in this single video. So let's get started with new Android Studio project. Click on new project, select this empty activity, this is Jetpack Compose activity, click on next, give the application name, let's say state example, select minimum SDK Android 8.0, build configuration language, let it be recommended, click on finish. So our project is created, let's run it and test it is created correctly or not. So I can see hello world, that means it is created correctly. Let's arrange it side by side, I'll put it over here, let's say hello to this greeting and let's remove this. I will also delete this inside set content. Now first thing what I will do, I will create a composable. So you can create a composable over here also but I will create in a different file. So I will give a Kotlin class file and name it screen state test screen and I will select file and I will create here composable. So how we can create composable function, let's name it state test screen and annotate it with composable. So this is now composable in main activity I will just call this state test screen. So if I run now uh, there is nothing because we have not written anything over here. So here to learn the state what I will do I will create a simple app that will contain a text and a text field. So here I will create another composable function that will be my text let's say and I will create another composable that will be my text field. So two composable in my text I will give simple text let's say for now hello and for my text field I will give simple outline text field value will be empty for now so on value change will also be empty and I will add one more thing that will be label and it will be composable so text let's say enter name that's it we have created two composable and here in this screen what I will do I will use column and I will call my text and my text field so if I run now you can see we have text and text field let's arrange this at center so for column i will give modifier first modifier equals to modifier dot fill max size vertical arrangement let's say arrangement dot center horizontal alignment center horizontally and for this text i will give a style text style font size will be 30 sp if i run now you can see we have text and text field so this is the simple application to learn the state. So here what I want is if user inputs the name, it should say hello and that name of the user. So that I wanted over here. So how we can achieve that? So for that state comes into the picture because this composable is different. This composable is different and both composable we are calling from this composable. So how we can manage state over here? So first thing what we can do if you write over here, it won't write anything because we have given value as empty and on value change as empty. So first thing we will get the value over here. So for that what we can do here we have to create a variable. So variable will be let's say variable name and let's give it as an empty string. Now here instead of value we'll give name and on value change we'll get the string and let's set it as name equals to it. Now if I run will it work? Let's see if I write something over here it is not working. Why? Because every time we type something this my text field will be called and this name is being reset to empty instead of making this directly as a string we can do by remember so this remember comes into the picture and mutable state of empty string you can import the remember get value and set value now this name will be remembered if i run again right here john we can see the name over here that means it is being stored in name variable that means it is stored in name variable it is being remembered so this my text field has the state of the name so it has a state we can show over here we can do anything inside this composable but what we want is we want this name in this text here in hello so this is different composable this is different composable how we can do that because this both are being used over here we can do this remember thing over here in test screen so what we will do we'll cut this out in this test screen i will paste now this name state is available to this screen now we can use it in my text instead of this hello we can pass a text let's say in the parameter name string 
and you can concat it with hello name so here we have to pass what we will pass we will pass this name that will be name now in my text field also we require two things one is value and one is on value change so what we can do we can create a parameter that will be name string and second parameter will be a callback function so we will create on name change let's say it will be of type function which will take a string and it will return unit that means it won't return anything so it will be a function we will call it whenever the value will be changed so what we will do here on name change and we'll pass it now we have to call it from here from my text field name will be name now for on name change we'll get a function and here we have a string that means we can assign it to name now if you see we have the state of name over here but we can change it through this on name change method in this text field so this is completely independent this is completely independent everything we are doing over here if i run now if i write john you can see it is being reflected in the text that means we have the state so if i remove also it will be removed so what is happening over here so what this remember is doing so this remember is preventing this name being changed every time recomposition is done this remember is persisting the name state across the recomposition so what do you mean by recomposition if you see over here if i log something log.i let's say my screen log and i will write is called if i run now and see the log cat my screen log you can see it is being called if i write something over here it is being called n number of time if you do anything changes in the screen it will be called n number of time but you can notice it is not being empty every time so i am writing something it is being remembered so that's what the remember does so you can write over here that remember will do persist state on recomposition so every time it is composed also the state is being remembered now one thing is if you write here and if you rotate the screen let's say i have rotated the screen you can see name is gone if i write again over here and rotate you can see the name is gone that means it is not being remembered on configuration changes so how we can remember we have one more thing that is remember saveable now let's run again if i write john and if i rotate the screen we can see we have the name if i rotate back name is still there that means the basic difference between remember and remember saveable is it persists even on configuration changes we can say this so in this way we can use remember and remember saveable which will save the state of the variable on configuration changes as well as recomposition in this way we can handle the state now next thing is in the real world application we can write every variable over here let's say we have n number of items over here we can't create variable for each item let's say we have surname also we have email we can't create all variable in the screen itself so for that we have to use view model and live data so how we can use that i will tell you first thing you have to add the library so let's say compose a runtime live data dependency you can go over here android developer and here we can see this dependency that has live data so here we have dependency let's select kotlin and copy this dependency that is runtime live data go back to the project in gradle script build at gradle inside dependencies let's paste it sync now it will download the library now we can use it so how we will use so first we will create a view model and we will use the live data so let's create a view model in different class new class let's call it as state test view model so for creating the view model we have to just inherit it from view model class so it will be our view model now what we will do we will create this variable over here in the view model we will create this variable so for that i will first create private value underscore name i will give as a mutable live data that will be of type string and i will expose this as value name and of type live data of a string which will get the value from underscore name so in this way we can create a private variable as a mutable live data so that we can use it in view model and we'll expose this name as a live data to any of the screen let's say this screen we'll expose it so how we can do that we'll use this name variable in this screen now here first we'll take the view model from parameter let's say view model and state test view model and instead of this by remember saveable and all we'll use by view model dot name dot observe observe as state and we'll give the initial as empty string 
it should be value in this way we are preserving the name in view model and we are getting it over here with the view model so we are passing it my text now you can see on name change we, we can't directly assign because this is not a mutable so we are not exposing mutable one we are exposing only the live data so here we will create an event so what will be the event let's say on name update and let's give a name as new name string so this will be the event here we can access this name so underscore name dot value equals to new name in this way whenever on name update will call it will update the underscore name and it will be exposed to this text so here on name change what we can do directly view model dot on name update and we'll pass it so this will do the same thing so now whatever we want to add the variable we'll add in view model and we can use that anywhere in this composable so these are independent the state we are storing in view model so here we are taking the view model so in main activity we'll pass the view model so what we'll do value view model equals to we have a view model provider this and here we'll give the type state test view model class dot java in this way this provider will provide the view model and we can pass over here view model if i run if i write something name john wick it will do the same thing the value is being stored in view model name variable and whenever we update the name it is being called and the value is being updated and it is reflected in this text in this way we can handle the state if if we rotate also it will work because we are using view model so this is the benefit if you want to add one more variable we can copy this let's say surname 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 and here on name update i'll copy this i'll paste it over here on surname update and surname dot value equals to new surname let's say we have added new variable surname and here also we can create this duplicate this let's name it surname view model dot surname dot observable now we have the state of surname as well what i can do in this my text i will pass both name space now from where i will take the surname i'll copy this text field because this is independent this text field is independent i can copy this and paste it over here and here i can pass surname so on name change function will be same here on name update on surname update that's it if i run it hello john and here week you can see it is working here we can write the comment we can use view model and live data to use to host the state for reusability so in this way we have learned about state in jetpack compose we have learned about the remember to prevent from recomposition remember savable to prevent from configuration changes view model and live data to make it reusable and testable so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.